They report with me, George Maringa, Kelvin McCorry's on 10 language interpretation. That conversation on the economy is coming up in just a short while. And Akuru Kurukut has released a former Mungiki leader, Maina Njenga, and his 11 co accused after the prosecution withdrew the case due to lack of evidence. Chichi Josephine has the details. <laughs> The Director of Public Prosecution on Monday officially withdrew all charges against a former Mungiki leader, Amaina Jenga, and his 11 other co-accused persons. When the matter came up for further hearing this morning, and in a rather dramatic turn of events, the prosecution made an application to have the matter withdrawn under Section 87A of the Criminal Procedure Code. Appearing before Senior Principal Magistrate Kipkiru Ikibelun, the prosecution, through State Counsel Charles Omwenga, applied for an application to have Jenga released under Section 87, citing lack of enough evidence from their side as well as lack of cooperation from the witnesses. The learned prosecutor, Mr. Omwenga, outlined four grounds for the application, which are in short as follows. A. That the prosecution's remaining witnesses are not willing to attend court to testify by dint of their relationship with one of the accused person. In the absence of such evidence, the prosecution case fails to meet the evidentiary test. In his ruling, Senior Principal Magistrate Kipkirui Kibelion ruled that the prosecution admitted that they have no evidence to proceed with the case, thereby noting that the threshold of the case could not be reached. Nine witnesses have testified as listed in the four. It is upon reviewing the evidence recorded so far that the prosecution deem it necessary to discontinue the prosecution of the accused for insufficiency of evidence under Section 87A of the CPC. Mr. Jenga was charged in May last year with 10 counts relating to conspiracy to commit criminal activities and illegal possession of firearms. The prosecution had lined up 28 witnesses, but only eight have since testified. Each accused person is discharged accordingly, and I direct that the cash bail deposited by each of the accused person in court be refunded to the respective depositors. Tunashukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwa sababu ya hiyo haki tumepata. Tunashukuru mahakama, tunashukuru mawakili wote ambao walifanya hiyo kazi na nyinyi pia. Na tunasema Mungu wa bariki. Chichi, Josephine TV 47.